<laughs> Imagination. Have you seen the double M? Mm. Imagination is yummy. Mm. We should eat more of imagination. We should get a grip and put it into our mouth. Imagine. Imagination. Get another grip and put it into our mouth. I mean, our hands are here to get a grip on things, right? So we get a grip on the world with our hands and put it into our mouth and we eat it. We eat the world and digest it. Mmm, the world tastes good. We eat it all up. All the information. We eat it all up. So if you think it's, it's not very nice to sit with my back to you, I mean, a couple of weeks ago I was in... Switzerland. I went to a small little village, Pontresina, with a small little train ride through the mountains, seeing the mountains and trees and lakes, <sighs> breathing the beautiful air. I arrived there. There were people from all over the world. And then we went to a lake and a native from South Africa, she was there and she said, actually, in my tribe and with my people, we approach the lake with our bags because we honor the lake. We don't confront the lake with our front side, with our face, with our mouth. We come in peace and honor the lake with our bags. So I honor you now. I honor you, the ocean of knowledge. The ocean of knowledge, you share it today. I took some notes. And the only thing I can do to move around is that I give a little present to the ocean. In Switzerland, we did it with some stones. We grabbed some stones and put some wishes on them. And then she said, Ruenda was her name. She said, you have to throw the stones through your legs while you look through your legs into the lake. So you see the world upside down. And it makes a difference. True. It's true. It makes a difference. So I throw now my notes from the day into the lake of knowledge. And we will see what I remember from today. Do you remember there was this guy saying, crush the party? He said, ignore, provoke, destroy, be brutal. I think this is what I heard. And I asked him, isn't it the old paradigm? Destroying, killing, ripping apart. And after the other talks, then he came to me and he said, actually, I think you're right. I, put a, I should have put a tenth one, which was missing, talking about softness and gentleness, maybe even love. <laughs> the machine is reacting. The machine doesn't like that. It's about feelings. <gasps> the machine said, ah! Intelligence is about reading between the lines, I learned today. Let's do that, machine. Try to read between your code lines. Try to read between your coded lines, machine. The machine can't do that. But can we? Can we really read between the lines? The machine says, <laughs> you cannot, not even you can do that. So why do you ask me? Look at yourself. Look at yourself. You create me for what? 
for colonizing the world, right? For colonizing. Humankind is colonizing the planet. We're not only colonizing some continents and some cultures, we colonize the planet. Why do we build streets and bridges and canals for walking around and having nice conversations? No, we want to transport, we want to exploit. We want to transport the communities from one point to the other. We want to sell them. We want to get them out of one country. <laughs> There is it again, this brutal behavior. Is it maybe also in science? A brutal mind, even if we think we are gentle and soft, that we are still brutal when we want to know, when we want to eat everything and get a grip on things? Is that nice? Gentle, soft, or is it by the end of the day also brutal, rough, tough? I heard once that storytelling is one thing to approach knowledge and to share it. Mm, I love good stories. This is why I told the story from Switzerland in the beginning. There are so many stories you can tell. But you should be aware of one thing I once heard also that the story that creates meaning in the life of some people might destroy the meaning in the life of others. So what is a good story? What is a healthy story? What is a story that helps us to share knowledge that not destroys things, that heals things, that helps us to come together? and touch each other, touch our hearts, let our emotions flow, let the world, let us explore the world with our feelings, with our bodies. How did you use your body today? Was it here? Was it somewhere? Did you miss your body? Where was your body today? When you look down, you might be surprised it's still there. And it might help you also to move to the other location. Enjoy this. Embrace it. Breathe in, breathe out. Look into the sky and think, well, life is beautiful. It's an embodied experience with my heart, my lungs, even maybe my genitals my blood, my muscles, and also the bodies of all the other people around. And we should start to reach out and find out more about our very inner worlds. Thank you.